Step one is all about prep work. As you can see here, I have already made holes for the net pots and the tubing for the air pump. For the holes in the lid for the net pots, I use a hole making drill bit. You can use uh, scissors, knives, what have you, but whatever you use, make sure that you're careful. Plastic is slippery, and it tends to catch, and uh, it's easy to hurt myself. The other thing we do is that we need to wash our Leica. It may look clean when you get it, even, and even if you bought specific uh, hydroponic Leica, it is usually dirty and when you, you have to run it through at least a couple of rinses of water to wash it to make sure you have clean water. As you can see, I have filled my bucket with water. Next, we add our fertilizer. I have measured up here. I use a three-part solution. So I've done this here to save us time. What you would do typically is, of course, to use a syringe like this one, measure up the dosage, and just add it to, to the bucket. What's important, though, is that each fertilizer is added separately. When that is done, you get your tubing for your air stone, and you make sure that you run it through the hole. You can start seeds and seedlings in a grow bucket. As you can see here, I've already done one with lettuce and I'm just going to show you how I did it. You don't want the seeds to sit in the uh, nutrient solution. So when we do seeds, we make sure we top it up so it's almost at the top like this. And then we sprinkle the seeds and we make sure that they stick to sit on top of the leica, much like this. Some will fall straight through. And those are of course seeds that we can save. But we want to have a few, and I'm starting to, starting to look just about right here now. Just like something like that. And then we just gently insert it in, into the pot, pot just like that. So here I have some chervil seedlings that I've been growing from seed and now we're going to try to just get them to come out into our hand something like this and of course we want to make sure that we keep the root system as intact as possible. And you see here, here we have a fine bunch of seedlings. I mean, when this gets into the grow bucket and it goes under the grow light, these seedlings will straighten out and be happy. But it's always nice to give them the best possible start you can. And we simply place it into the bucket like that. All that's left now is to attach the air pump and place the whole bucket under a full spectrum grow light. When you buy uh, your air pump, it will, most of them today come with the necessary tubing and the air stone like we saw previously and a back vent such as this. It's important with air pumps that they're always placed above the water level in your grow, in your grow bucket but to make sure that water does not flow back into the pump, they come with something called a back vent. This prevents water from 
traveling in the wrong direction, so to speak, and entering into the water pump, causing all kinds of nasty problems. Air pumps are not submersible pumps, so they should not be inside the grow bucket. They should be outside, much like an aquarium pump. Now, these are built so that they will let water, sorry, they will let air travel one direction, but not the other. I've already tested this one by blowing in it. I know that, that the air will travel this direction. So what I need to think here now is that the air is going to come from the pump. And then I want this one to sit on the tubing. So I now need to cut my air pump tubing. And I just cut it something like this. Now, this is usually a fun part where you have to get this to sit something like that. And then we attach the other one just about here. And then we attach this to the air pump. There. Now this air pump will be, be placed above this grow bucket and then plugged into the mains. This bucket will be placed under a full spectrum grow light. And there you have it. We have chervil growing from seedlings and we have two pots of lettuce growing from seeds. So I'm just going to move this to where it's going to live and I will show you a short glimpse later on when everything is up and running. So see you in a bit. So here we are, the grow buckets are in place under their full spectrum grow light and as I, as I think you can hear the air pump is whirring in the background and I think if we lift this one here you'll be able to see the bubbles coming through. Uh, one last point before I sign off, that is that when we plant the seeds on top of the Leica there is a nutrient solution lying just below the top level of Leica and moisture usually is absorbed and the seeds are kept moist. But if you find yourself in a situation where the seeds appear to be drying out one easy trick is just to get a piece of clear plastic like this and you simply place it on top of the net pot. If they are completely dry, just mist them before you put the plastic on top. This is just something you can do if uh, you feel that the seeds are drying out. Um, I don't usually have a problem with lettuce, but uh, every grow system is different and depending on how much heat your grow light radiates, this one here doesn't uh, give off a lot of heat at all, so I don't usually have a problem. But if your grow light radiates and generates a lot of heat, you may be better served by covering the seeds with uh, plastic. So there you go. I will keep you posted and uh, talk to you again soon. And please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you find these kind of videos helpful. And uh, I hope to see you back here soon. Bye for now. Making a DIY grow bucket is not that complicated. You just need a few things and you can decide to make it very, very budget friendly. Or you can invest a bit more to have a healthier yield. I will go through the things that I use here today. And I will also let you know when um, the items are optional and what you could do instead to keep the cost down. Okay, first of all, I use a bucket made from food safe plastic. This bucket holds 10 liters. And as you can see here, I've already made the holes, but we'll get into that later. To hold the plants and to and our growing medium, we use net pots. These are three inch or 7.62 centimeters. I think they're the ideal size. I can uh, grow three plants per bucket with this size. 
and as you can see here they slot perfectly into the holes that I've drilled. Uh, for growing medium I use uh, Leica. It is inert and it provides the structure to hold up the plant and it goes of course into the net pot and as it is inert and doesn't hold any nutritional value we need to add a fertilizer. I use a three-part fertilizer like this one here and as you can see here I mean, usually of course you put it straight into into your bucket there's no reason to put it into separate containers first but I just want to stress how important it is to give them separately so measure them up I use a syringe and then put them into your water solution I use an air pump you don't have to do this this is optional they're quite inexpensive to buy this one here actually is, uh, has two outlets because I always set up two buckets at a time and this pump comes with tubing air stones and the back vents but we'll get into that later I use a hole making drill bit this drill bit here makes a perfect three inch hole and as you can see it's well used and as you can see here this is the one that I used yesterday when I was preparing for this video and it just cuts out the perfect circle every time if you don't want to invest in the in the drill bit I think they're about I think they're less than ten dollars but if if you don't want to invest in one you can of course use a knife or a saw but please be careful whether you use a drill bit or any other instrument be careful plastic is slippery and when it catches and slides you can hurt yourself so please be careful do not hurt yourself then of course we need something to plant here I have some uh, seedlings it's the chervil one of my uh, favorite herbs to grow it's because it's virtually impossible to buy it in, uh, in the store where I live and I think it is a wonderful herb to use for cooking much more it, you know it's also called French parsley and but it's much more delicate in the taste it's yeah now please try it if you haven't but you can also uh, plant some uh, vegetables or herbs uh, uh, from seed. I mean like here we're going to grow lettuce but I will show you later how I do that. And then finally to get the best result I use a grow light. I like to use this particular one it's a full spectrum light because it fits perfectly over two buckets and as I already mentioned I like to set up two buckets at a time. So now when you've seen what we need and I will also price out the items to you in the description so you can so you can find but you can find them all on Amazon.